Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And that is the ducklings. I woke them up. They'll, they'll probably go back to sleep. Um, no farming today. Sunday I will do a, um, what is that thing, kind of like maybe an ASM something or another, of the ducklings eating and... Um, then going to sleep. Um, it'll probably be about the same length as it was uh, like the last video because it doesn't take them long to eat everything. And of course now they're a lot bigger and um, they will have to go into the garage probably this weekend. Um, unless I can find somebody to take them for me. Um... Until I can get, uh, well, not till I can get the snow to melt, but until the snow melts. And then since we got about uh, uh, close to two, two and a half feet of snow in the last, like, three days, um, it's not melting anytime soon. We have a whole bunch of snow that has to melt. So, I'm coming to talk to you guys about my whips and my foes. I have only one, two, three, four whips. I know. I know that's hard to believe. I will be adding the two new ones to it, but I actually haven't started them. So technically they're not whips, but when I do, I'll still only have six. And you guys know that my maximum that I will do is 10. But um, since you guys haven't seen the whips in a while, I thought that I would share um, what, what I have gotten done. Ugh. Okay, so um, the first, this whip, it's in an Aaron Lane bag, um, Sheeplewood. And this one will be done, what is today, Thursday, my 26, how many, 30 days has September, what is it, 31 in March? I'm aiming for the end of March, because this will be a, um, a fair project, and it is almost done, almost. So... This came from a crochet surprise um, monthly box. I do not remember which one it was, um, but it was a while ago. And this is actually the inside part. Or I might have messed it up and I might have insides and outsides. And you know what? I don't care anymore. Um... I have to to do it closed with this granny. I have one, two, three, just three sides to sew. One, two, yeah, just three sides to close up. And then that will be done, and then I can start on the handle. So this is going to be a huge bag, and I'll probably use it for a market bag. But it's almost done. And this will be the last project that I carried over from 2019. So that one goal will be done, and I will have no more whips from 2019. Uh, I am using, let's see, Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton is what came with the package or with the box. And I'm using a, what is this, size F 3.75 hook. So... You guys keep making sure that I finish this. Um, I am going to start working on it, at least get the sewn up part today. 
and then the crocheting part won't take me much time at all. So, I will soon be done with all of my 2019 whips. Woohoo! Okay, so that's going down there. Um, my other whip, or actually I have four of them. This one is my corner to corner blanket that I don't, I don't have a time frame for it. I just wanted to, I had four skeins of this Red Heart Super Saver and Derby Stripe. I uh, figured I might as well go ahead and make something with it. So, hi Persephone. So I started this corner to corner blanket. And this is, or it might even be a, I think I might turn it into a lap blanket or maybe even a baby blanket. I don't know, do babies do colors like this? I guess with the pink it would have to be for a girl. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just turn it into a... Well, if I turned it into a lap blanket, I don't know. I have four balls, and what I was going to do was go do two increasing, and then for the last two, um, do the decreasing. And this is one ball, or this is only one ball used, so I still have three more to go. And this is what I have left over from the first ball. So, um, the last time you guys saw it, that's how much I have gotten done. It's from here to there. So I will move that up, and I'll probably show it again once I get the get another complete skein done. So that's this. And I'm just going until four skeins are gone. Okie dokie. So, my cape. Um, this has to be done by like July 15th. That way I can get it cleaned and blocked and everything before the fair. But I've gotten, let's see, I have, the, I, after this, this is probably about a, a quarter of the skein left and I have three more. And this is Utopia Baby. Um, I got this from Hobium before they closed, and now that they are open, they're no longer carrying the Utopia line, and I have searched everywhere, and I can't find it, so once these three and a quarter skeins are gone, um, that's as much as I can do. So, let me, let me see. This is the last time I showed you guys I've only done this much of it because it's, it's really monotonous to me and um, I can honestly say I, I don't enjoy doing it, but I am going to finish it. I have way too much in it to turn around and stop it now. But most of you guys know that this is going to be my milking cape. Um, in the winter for when I milk the goats. And, oh, I just got all tangled up in the yarn. So it'll go like that and like this. And I'm trying to, yeah, you see, it's, it's about, it comes down to like right here whenever I put my arms down. So it's coming along and it will be done. Oh goodness, I have it. Where did I get it stuck on? Good thing I have a stitch marker in there. So there's the hood. 
right there. It, it ends like right here. And then, so that's what I have so far is that. And once I get the last skeins on there, then I will be done. Oops, I just pulled something here. I'll have to weave the, I just pulled something. I'll have to weave that in somehow. And, ugh. And this bag that I'm using is from Beth at Heaven's Peacemaker. And hopefully I can get it all back in here because I have it all wrapped up now somehow. I don't know what I did. What in the world did... Okay. Sorry about that. I had it all wrapped up around. And I guess I might have to do some mending because I wasn't paying any attention. I should have put the yarn on this side of me and not that side of me. But, you know... It all works out. So, yeah, this is my um, Heaven's Peacemaker bag. And pretty soon, this one won't be big enough. I might have to get a pillowcase. Um, I'm not sure if Billy's bag will be big enough to hold this either. But I'll give it a try. And my last whip is one that I'm trying to design myself. Um, I had a friend ask if I would make a project bag and I told her, or not a project bag, a market bag. And I told her, sure, I would. And I guess she wanted it, uh, you know, like three days. And I was, I said, you know, I, that's impossible. I mean, I started it, but she goes, oh no, I needed it to go do something or another. And so now I'm just playing with it. And this is what I have so far. So I'm going to attempt to try and remember what I did and then write it down. And then, and then maybe my friend Kathy <laughs> can uh, write it out or attempt to read what I wrote. I don't know how she read what I wrote last time. But, um, I am using La, uh, La Mia Lollipop. And it doesn't give a color except for LL008. But it has pinks, purples, whites, and green. So those, that's the color of it. And there are 196 yards in it. And I know I'll use one, and I'll probably use more than that. But this is what it's looking like so far. And um, I'll just have to wing it once I get up to the strap part. Or I might put a little something in between. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But this is that right now. So I'm going to stick this back in my cowl bag. And I can't remember what hook I'm using. It's like a K or J or L, M, N, O, P. I'm using a K 6.5. I thought that's what it was, but I wasn't sure. Okie dokie. Now for my finished objects. And my future whips will be after that. Okay, my first finished object will be donated to Lion Brand for Hat Not Hate. And I made this to fit my grandson. Um, and I, oops, I see I didn't sew an end in. Oh, nope, I forgot. So it's not complete yet. And I'm calling it done anyway. 
Um, but I used Debbie the Canadian Crotcheters, not, yes, Debbie, yes, Canadian Crotcheters pattern to make this. And uh, so it is done. And while my grandson isn't here for me to measure it on him, I think it will fit. And since blue is his favorite color, um, I might have to make one in a different color um, for him. And, or, or, or give this one to him and then make another one. Of course, I'm going to make another one. And I made this with Ferris wheel in uh, Full Moon. And that's the color. It's all different shades of blue. And I might have enough to make an even smaller. I don't know. Because I don't think I have another one of these. So I can try to make another one. I'll have to weigh it and see how many ounces are left. And then and see if I can make another one the same size. And I used... I think an H. Yes, an H hook. So that is that, and I can now take this out. And look, I have another project bag that's empty. But we're not filling any more project bags until I get some of those down because I have a whole bunch of them over on in front of me that are filled. We're going to mix them up a little bit. Okay, my last finished object is for the Seta Place Calendar Cal. And Seta is making hats, and I am making some type of baby item, whether it's a dress and a diaper cover for a little boy, I mean a little girl, <laughs> um, or... Um, some like little pants. I was going to try and do the pants and dress, but I got sidetracked with a whole bunch of other stuff. So the colors were, let me show you. Oh, girls, stop. Thanks to Kathy. I have my handy dandy calendar here. Uh, March. So, these were the colors. A blue, orange, and a gray. And the the blue that I used was Caron Simply Soft. So that county came close to matching. Can you guys even see it? There's the blue that I used. And the and that's all I have left of the blue. And the gray and orange I used. The gray is gray heather and the orange is mango. So there's the two of them next to there so that's what that's what I came up with and I did incorporate all three into the dress and two into the diaper cover so here is the dress I did the main color as blue, and down here there is one, one round of gray, and then the last round is in orange. And then I just did the orange um, for the top. And we have a little orange button on the back. So that's the dress. And the diaper cover is just blue and orange. So, there's my set of calendar cal. All done. And I got it done late this month. I normally get it done first thing in the month. 
but I was late. And I still have to take a picture and put it on Seta's uh, Facebook page. So that is that. And this, this bag will hang up for next month because this is the bag that I'm using for her challenge and I keep my five hook inside there. So I'm gonna put that right there. And these get put away and that goes into the donation bin and this goes to my friend who is collecting care on Simply Soft Scraps. Okay, my future whips. After thinking with this, I have decided to attempt a knit hat. I do think I am going to have to go or send somebody, I'll probably send somebody, to get me the 16-inch needles. Um, I have the... I think it's 24 long, um, but that's going to be too long, maybe. I have a, I have a, a question into Christy, so I'm waiting for her to answer me, and I'm hoping that she's going to help me along the way, because I have the right needles sized this way, but the cord is 24 or from tip to tip is 24 instead of 16 so but I am gonna try knitting a hat anything I knit can go into the fair so I'm gonna give it a whirl and whether it comes out looking good or like poop I'm going to enter it in there, and I'm going to be proud to enter that in there. With my neon um, yarn, I am also going to knit. And yes, I am an idiot. I cannot multiply or add um, because 201... Was it? Yeah, 201 times 4 is not 404. It's 804, right? 201, 2468, yes, 4. So I am going to knit a shawl. I am going to try. And hopefully get both of these done by July 15th or 20th. That's the goal. We shall see how it works out. So, that's all I have. And um, I'll see you guys later. They're sleeping. If, if Devil opens up his door, though, they get all excited. They really, really like Devin. I can open the door and they go, oh, yeah, whatever. Can't win. Ducks that don't like me. How How is that happening? They just told me why, but oh well. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.